Hello, it's Ness Tilson here. In this video I'd like to show you how to quickly make your own custom designed furniture with Polyboard, our cabinet software. Polyboard is a very powerful piece of professional software and it's used around the world by many professional woodworking businesses in small shops and in big factories alike to design and manufacture their customers furniture. And now, as a member of our wood designer community, you get to use Polyboard to design your own personal projects for free. Although very powerful and feature rich, Polyboard is very easy to use and as an introduction to using Polyboard I'd like to show you how to quickly design a living room shelf unit. Now, as you know, there is an infinite number of ways to design and build furniture. But if you're a novice designer, a good way to start is to look on the internet and find a design that inspires you. For our example video, I've scanned around the internet and found this living room unit. And let's use this as a basis for our design. To see how to use polyboard to design custom made to measure furniture, I've added some dimensions for us to design to. If you follow me through this example on your own computer, don't forget to download to your hard disk the quick start template that I use in the video before you start. You'll find this template in the members area of your wood designer website. So if you've got your template, let's start designing. When you run Polyboard for the first time, you should see a screen like this. Let's start by opening the quick start template that you should have downloaded from our wood designer template library. Let's go to the button here called open. Go to where you've loaded, downloaded your template, select your template and click open and Polyboard will display the template on screen. If we click right with our mouse, mouse context menu that opens, that enables us to zoom backwards and forwards, pan across our view, and at the bottom we also have a item called View Angle. If we click View Angle, we have a window that opens, and if we click in that window with our mouse and drag, we can change the angle of view of our model. If we want new cabinets that we start making to have this same angle of view, click here, New Cabinet Default Angle, and every time you open a new cabinet, it will display in this angle. Click OK, and Polyboard will show you your cabinet from your new angle. To see the model in 3D, click on the 3D button here. In 3D mode, you can just click on the mouse and drag the model around and change the angle of view. You also have the mouse menu exactly as you do in 2D by clicking right on the mouse you have the possibility of zooming forwards and backwards and panning across. You can also zoom by rolling the central mouse wheel if you do have a wheel on your mouse and pan by pressing down on the mouse wheel. Here we have a textured view but we can also display the model in a transparent view. If we click on this button here called hidden face perspective we will get a wire frame view and we will be able to see inside our cabinet and we can even see inside the different assembly details and we can see the hardware that's been used to join the boards together we can see here the hinges on the doors we have created a simple setup for this bit of furniture that tells body boards what material to use and how to join the boards together and what hardware to use if you'd like to use this setup for your future projects, we can save the setup in a file. To do this, we go to Libraries and choose the option Manufacturing Methods. In Manufacturing Methods, we have to click on the button called Duplicate and Polyboard will create a file from the model, which is called automatically here Quick Start 02, and if you click OK, this will create a file that Polyboard will save where we have all the different parameters and setup of our particular bit of furniture. When Polyboard says apply the method, just click OK for a second time. Now we've created a file that will tell Polyboard to build any new furniture we make and use the same methods as the Quick Start template. And now we're going to run through quickly how to create this living room unit from scratch. Let's close the template model. Just close the 3D window by clicking on the cross up here. And let's close the 2D view as well. And let's start with a completely new cabinet. To do this, just click on the button here, New Cabinet. Select Box Cabinet here. 
and click OK to enter a box cabinet with the default dimensions. If we look in 3D we can see that the box cabinet is made of basic materials not the same materials as our template. And if we look in transparent view we can see that there are practically no details at all for assembling this box. We're going to apply to this box the manufacturing method or the setup, the way we're going to build it, that came from our template. Go into Libraries, Manufacturing Methods, and in the list click Quick Start 02, the file that you saved from our Quick Start template. Click OK and click OK to apply the method. We can see that instantly Polyboard has changed the board thicknesses and has added all the assembly details to our box so that our box is now being made exactly like our template. Let's go now back into 2D and start editing and creating our own special design. I've made a screen capture of this design which is here and I've added to my screen capture just the overall dimensions that I need to design to. I need to make a unit that's 4 meters 20 long, 4200 millimeters long and 2 meters 15 or 2150 millimeters high and I need in the middle a space for my TV unit of 1250 millimeters. So let's just put this drawing up here for the time being and let's see how we make this design from our basic box that we've loaded. On the right hand side we can see that there's a list and the list here shows the different properties of this particular box. On the top here we have the dimensions of the box, the height, width, depth and height of the of what we call an upper strip or a strip we can put along the top or elevation of the plinth. Let's just modify these parameters so that they fit our design specifications. Let's put the height as 2 meters 15, 2150 millimeters and when I click out of the text box here you can see that Polyboard automatically sets the design to the right height. Let's stay the same for the width 4,500. Polyboard has made the box 4,500 millimeters long. Let's add a plinth. We can see here that there is a plinth on our model here. Now uh, when you're making furniture like this, sort of made to measure furniture, don't forget to put a plinth. It's always good to have a plinth at the bottom of your bit of furniture so that it makes it much easier to clean up around the bit of furniture and the dust doesn't go into the shelves. So let's add a plinth here. Elevation of plinth Let's put an elevation of the plinth of say 50 millimeters. Type 50 in here, press the enter button. You see now the bit of furniture has been raised up, it's got a bit shorter by 50 mil. If I move my mouse now underneath the furniture, Polyboard is going to display a sort of pink zone. When the zone is pink and I click right, a context menu comes up. And in the context menu, there's a list of things I can do in this zone. One of the things is add plinth. Click on add plinth. And let's just add a plinth around our bit of furniture here. Tick frontage, a plinth on the front. And in the recess area, type in 30 millimeters, 30. Tick back, leave the recess at zero. Tick left, type in 30. And click right as well, type in 30. Polyboard has now created a plinth area underneath and added the plinth. Let's put my drawing down here on the floor. And let's have a look in 3D what we have here. We can see here the polyboard has raised the bit of furniture up, created a space underneath of 50 millimeters high, and put in automatically our plinth at 30 millimeters from the front and from the ends. Let's have a look at what it looks like in textured mode. And so our cabinet is starting to look a bit like what we need. Let's continue building here. Let's go back into 2D back in 2D and let's have a look at what we need. Let's move our polyboard cabinet a bit over here. Okay, let's see how we're going to continue designing this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to separate this 4 meters 20 into two sections, two equal parts with the vertical partition here. Move the mouse into the bit of furniture. When, it, when the inner volume of the bit of furniture goes blue, click the mouse and the volume goes darker blue and is selected. Click right and you'll get the context menu again and in the context menu this time click add upright. Once you have the add upright dialog box we have here the, the number of uprights that we're going to add and the way we're going to set it up. This time just click OK. Polyboard has now set it an upright 
dividing the inner volume by 2. Let's do the same for this volume on the right here. Do it once again. Click, right, add up right, divide by 2. Now we have several sections here. Let's do the same in here. And we have created the section on the right hand side of our unit here with a bigger section here and a smaller section in here which we're going to divide into shelves. On the left hand side of our unit we need one upright here at 1 meter 25, 1250 millimeters to give enough space for our TV unit. Click the mouse in the blue zone on the left, open the context menu and again use the add upright but this time in the position zone of the add upright dialog box tick distance from the right the distance from the right dialog box is now active and let's type in 1250 and then we click OK now we know that we have 1250 millimeters between these two uprights let's add in the shelves now Click in a volume, select it, and add shelves. This time, type in 5 in the quantities section of the shelves, and click OK. Polyboard automatically adds 5 shelves equally spaced in our unit. Do the same for all the other units, the other volumes, sorry. And now we have our unit looking more and more like our design. Let's go back down and have a look at what it looks like in 3D. So we've all set up all the different partitions with the shelves. Now what we need, if you look back in our design, we need some drawers here and some doors at the top here. So let's go back into our 2D and add some drawers and doors. To add a drawer here we go into the volume again select the volume by clicking the mouse click right and this time in the context menu add a drawer. Number of drawers leave it at one and just click OK and now we have a drawer. If we go back into our 3D we can see what this looks like. We can open and close the drawer and the hit by clicking on this button here and polyboard has added a drawer let's go and add the rest of the elements the drawers here click on this volume I'm going to add a drawer here and at the top here we need some doors to add to some doors to our unit we do exactly the same as for the drawers let's go over to the volume where we need the doors when the mouse is over the volume we click, click right, and this time in the menu we choose the item Add a Door. As we can see our volume here is quite wide and it's probably better to add two doors in this volume. So in the type of door to add, click Double Door and then click OK. Polyboard adds a double door. Let's do the same for the end volume here. I click Add Door and Add Double Door, click OK. And for these two little boxes in the middle here, let's add a single door. Add a door, and just a simple door. And now let's have a look in 3D what our cabinet looks like. And we can see that our cabinet, our living room unit, is looking very much like the design that we were working from. But we can see that we need still have to create the space necessary to put the TV unit in here so we have to get rid of these two bits of shelving let's go back into our 2D to get rid of the bit of shelving let's put the mouse over one of the shelf edges here until it goes the shelf goes green click to select it then click right and click delete when polyboard says distribution of available space click no so that polyboard doesn't recalculate the position of the other shelves because we've taken this one out. Do the same thing for the second shelf. Click right and delete. No. Now in 3D 
we can see that we've got the space for the TV unit and the design is looking very very much like the design that we downloaded from the internet. And of course we're respecting all the constraints, the design constraints that we had of the length, height and the area necessary for putting in the TV. Let's put this down here. Now if you're using the full version of Polyboard you're getting at the same time as you're designing all the manufacturing documents. Let's have a look at the manufacturing documents. Let's go into Print Preview and this is what you'll be getting with the full version of Polyboard. You'll be getting the drawings with eventually an exploded view, all the cutting lists, lists of the hardware that you're using and a, a drawing dimension drawing of each and every part. So that's how simple it is. The full version gives you the cutting lists with the dimensions of every part but you don't need them if you're using one of our suppliers. In this case just send the polyboard file of your design to the supplier and he'll send you back all the parts ready for assembly. If you want to cut and make the parts yourself we can show you a completely free way to get the plans or you can use our cabinet file service. In this case, you send us your polyboard file and we'll send you back all the plans and cutting lists so that you can start building your project straight away. Whatever option you go with, you've now got access to an easy and very cheap way to create your own uniquely designed furniture. If you're a business, you've now got an amazing free tool to design custom furniture for your clients and then you can build it yourself or outsource as much of the construction as suits the way you work. In our next quick start video, I'll show you how to customise even more of your design using a few of Polyboard's more advanced features. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon in our next quick start video. Goodbye.